have to read these, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. So Freddie, not everyone gets a second chance to choose a life partner, but I am a lucky girl to be able to choose you. This is a time to really take all the lessons learned in the past and enter the sacred relationship with you full of intention. I would say that it was a good thing that you took 10 years to ask me to marry you. This gave you a chance to really know who I am, all my good qualities and all my human flaws. And in those 10 years, well, 11 now, I discovered so many wonderful things about you. And here before our family and friends, I will share 10 wonderful things about you that I love. I love that you are genuine. You are a genuinely happy-go-lucky type of guy. My kids thought you were faking your outgoing happiness. <laughs> but yep, after 11 years later, you are still that happy-go-lucky guy. You are a good counterbalance for me when I am too serious. I love that you love family. You adore your children. You adore your sisters and your brother. You adore your nieces and nephews and their children. And I'm so happy to be brought into your loving family. I love that you are from the South. There are so many wonderful things that you bring from the South. Grace, gen um, generosity, gentle manliness, and a love of a good time. I have been blessed to be introduced to the South through your history, your family, and friends, and the places that you love. I love that you love music. Music is so good for the soul. And I know that you and I will always have our common love for music that will bring us enjoyment, adventures, and memories. I love that you are a loyal friend. I have witnessed your selfless acts of helping a friend in need, always thinking of what you can do for others and how you don't forget birthdays. I love our singing birthday calls that we do together to our friends and family. I love that you have an adventurous spirit. We have traveled to five countries and hiked many mountains and crossed many seas together. I look forward to many more adventures with you. Life is short and the world is getting smaller. You are the companion that makes me feel safe so that I can have fun. <laughs> I love that you work so hard to make our lives better. You have encouraged me and at times pressured me to take risks in making home improvements, investing in properties and other businesses. And without you though, I probably would be playing it safe and missing out on opportunities and potential gains. I love that you don't cater to my emotions. Well, okay, I don't really love that, but I suppose it's good for me. I love that you love my family, and this year especially, as you've helped me move my parents from Roseville to Sebastopol and have given your time and been so caring for my parents and our new grandbaby, JT. My dad recently told me that I'm a lucky girl to have you in my life, and he's never lied to me before, and I doubt that he's starting now. I love that you bounce back. Even after a disagreement or spat with me, when you are down or upset about something, you find your center and you are always the wonderful man that I love. So here before our families and friends, I wanna share my commitment to you. As your wife, I look forward to walking our path life together. This path I know has hills and valleys. It's easy to love one another when times are good and easy. The test of marriage is when life is challenging or when one or the other is struggling or unhappy. I want you to know that I will stand by you when you feel challenged or down. I will care for you if your physical being needs support. I am here for you whenever you need to talk and unload the burdens of the day. That I will be patient and I will be loving to help you get through your rough waters. You have already taught me to be steadfast and confident in our love, even when I feel challenged. I know my human imperfections, and you have lovingly reminded me that I can grow and rise above. Seeking a higher self, a more loving presence, I love you. As your wife, I will stand here with you in bringing our families together. We have elders here who have given us life and opportunities, and we have young ones that need our wisdom and our guidance. We are both blessed with the most loving, wonderful families. 
Each individual in our family is special and how lucky we are to be in the middle of this constellation of love, unity, and beauty. I share your passion for family and will always be there for your wonderful sisters and brother. Oh, where am I? <laughs> their nieces, their spouses, their nieces, nephews, and grandnieces and nephew. I am a lucky girl to be marrying into such a lovely family. And I'm filled with gratitude that you have extended your love and care to my family members as well. Your tenderness and generosity and love shown to my parents, my children, and our youngest new grandson have been stellar and my heart swells with love and gratitude for you. Finally, as your wife, I am your partner in building community. As I look before us today, I see all these beautiful people, our friends and family who are our immediate community. But in the 11 years together, we have touched many more lives. And you and I are like the magical magnet that can bring people together. We can make a big difference in this world that needs stewardship, love, and human connection. Having purpose together makes me feel alive. We are more powerful. Oh, Oh, sorry. Having purpose together is very powerful, and we are more powerful together than apart. I want to be powerful. I want to be get together with you, and I never want to be apart from you. Thank you. Thank you for asking me to be your wife. Aww.